Hi, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. And I just want to show you a really cool shortcut. A lot of times you're working on a movie and you have a number of clips on your timeline as we do here, or maybe it's a number of stills from a slideshow, and you want to add a transition between them. Now, we don't want to have to add the transitions one at a time. We'd like a shortcut that will just add transitions between all the clips on the timeline all in one fell swoop. And that's easy enough to do. If you select the clips on your timeline that you'd like to apply the transition to, in this case, I'm just gonna drag a little lasso here and select all the clips there on video one. I'm gonna right click, doesn't matter where you right click, go to timeline and select apply default transition. And this will apply a transition, there it is, between every single clip here on the timeline. Now, the default transition by default is a dissolve. It's a cross dissolve. And that's what you're seeing between these clips here. There it is, a little cross dissolve. But you can change it to whatever you'd like. So we can go over here to the transitions panel by clicking on the button on the toolbar. And we can select anything. Say we want to select the flip over transition. If I right click on it, I can select the option to set this as my default transition. Now this is going to be my default transition, the flip over. We've got all those clips already selected on the timeline. I'm going to right click and select timeline, apply default transition. And now, as you can see, between every clip on the timeline is that flip over transition. Pretty cool, huh? Changed it all at once. Now there's no way that I know of at least using this method to randomly add transitions. So it's going to add whatever transition you've got set as your default. It's going to add that the whole way down through your whole selection. Uh, by the way, if you use this technique, sometimes when you apply your transition, you get a little warning right here that says you're going to have repeated frames. If you see that, that's an indicator that you don't have enough head and tail material between your clips. And that's something we discuss in another tutorial on how transitions work. You always need a little bit of extra beyond the in point of one clip and beyond the out point of another in order to create the transitional segment. That warning, you can ignore it if you want, but it may add little freeze frames there between your transitions, and that's probably not something you want. So you want to prepare your clips by trimming just a little bit off each clip before you add your default transition to it. It's not really an issue if you're working with still photos though. It's a really cool technique. Uh, just does it all very, very quickly. If you want to know more of these kind of tricks and if you want to know how transitions work and why we had to create that head and tail material, you want to check out the tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about the program and every tool in it and every little trick there is, check out our moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me.